Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode beta 60 for Friday, the 11th of December, 2015. This is a show where two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and whatever else comes to mind. I'm Amos, and that dude right over there in the Diamond Club t-shirt, bam! That's Kent. What's up, man? What's going on, dude? Uh, I'm so glad. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Saturday for me. Uh, tickets went on sale today for uh, for the base theater for uh, the, the, the new Star Wars flick. Fuck yeah, man. We are yeah. one week away. Uh, not even that. It's, yeah. Well, the, you know, the midnight showings that are happening at like uh, yeah, yeah. 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. and shit, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. Because it comes out on the 18th, but it doesn't really. It comes out on the 17th. Yeah, they're actually waiting until the 18th to show it here. Uh, first showing is at 1800 on the 18th and then uh, 2100. First one's 3, 3D and the second one's 2D. I've got tickets to both the first showing, so... <laughs> I'll be watching right it, watching, doing some back-to-back action because uh, why not? So, all right. Uh, well, yeah, you'll be seeing it before me. So, well, you're not watching until Saturday, Saturday, right? Well, no, I, I'm. I'm intending to watch it on Friday. We'll see if that actually occurs. Oh, you, but, you don't have your tickets yet. But the thing is, well, yeah. But this is this is uh, a <laughs> this is Alan McGordo, and uh, there's that's, tickets available. That's true. Of course, there's probably only three people there going to watch it anyway. So. Right. No, you, there's there's going to be about 17 or 18, I think. You heard but, it here. Uh, if you want to go see the movie and you don't have tickets yet, go to Alamogordo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fucking shitty little town in the shitty little state. So Yeah, but but you you watching it on Friday evening, me watching it on Friday evening, you're about, what, 14 hours ahead of me or some crap? Yeah, something like that. So I'll have watched it twice, gotten drunk, told you all about it before you even have a chance to go to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. You're, I'm gonna put my phone on private. And if, I'm if you're if you're actually gonna watch it uh, next Friday evening, will you be watching it while during our typical casting time? I should be. I, I if everything goes according to plan, I will be done watching the movie and show up, sit down in this chair, just in time to answer your Skype call to go live. <laughs> if it goes to plan. If it, <laughs> so, if it goes to plan. Yeah. Well. So. Uh, that's probably not going to happen. So we'll see. <laughs> so, so next week's show, uh, time to be determined. Yes. <laughs> just, just like every week there lately. All right. <laughs> Pretty close lately. Uh, sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Looks good on paper. Um, all right, man. So, uh, so <laughs> uh, I got to tell you, man, I, I had surgery this week. Yeah. There's, there's my, my gimp ass hand. Um, I, yeah, yeah, fuck this. Fuck, fuck, this is stupid. This is dumb. This is really, <laughs> really dumb. Um, my arm itches, uh, up one side, down the other, literally. And so my hand was originally really swollen. Now the hand isn't swollen anymore. I can, I got all this wiggle room in the cast, but it's still not comfortable. Like, it's still mm. like, I just want to be able to move my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I understand that. It's bullshit. Um, so how's how's the pain? Uh, it's being moderated by Percocet. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, my brain is half moderated by Percocet as well. So, so I I was thinking about it earlier, and I have an opportunity here to be as high as I want for basically two weeks. Okay. I don't know how people get get addicted to oxycodone like i don't understand because the maybe maybe this is why but the with not the withdrawal but the recovery the hangover from percocet is insane like it, it's one of those things where my i can't function like it takes me so so my pills last about five or six hours and, and it kills the pain like the pain's gone gone and about half an hour, 45 minutes after I take my pills, I'm gone. Like, I'm taking a nap. La, la. Yeah, and well, I don't know how many times this week I was chatting with or texting with you, and then nothing. What, what the <laughs> fuck happened to Amos? <laughs> like, three or four hours later, like, oh, hey, sorry, man. I, <laughs> just, I, I just woke up from an unplanned nap. <laughs> it's been awful. And then, like, this morning, I haven't – I got up this morning to go get the, get the Star Wars tickets, and I intentionally didn't take my pill because I didn't want to be nodding off, like, you know, two minutes before I was supposed to leave. And I still ended up taking, like, a three-hour nap at, at 6 o'clock this morning. Just boop, out. 
wake up uh, and be like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Like I was, I was watching a uh, man in the high castle on Amazon and psh, I remember like the first two minutes of the show and that's all the, the, that I saw. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's been, it's been a, it's been an off week for me. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. My, my week has not been really anything interesting at all. Just adulting basically <laughs> lots of work, lots of, um, well, you know, karate and, doing stuff with the family but mm-hmm. yeah just pretty much just busy 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 yeah yeah imagine Nothing that much. yeah adulting Th- Th- you thought life would calm down after you retired yeah well it, it sort of did when i was actually retired yeah yeah then so, you unretired yourself yeah yeah uh no i don't i'm not you looking for that all. <laughs> all right man so it, it you, you spend a little time this week uh watching some star wars rebels yeah, man, got caught up. That's a cool show, dude. Have Have you watched any of it yet? I have not. Did you watch no. the Clone Wars? Oh man. Okay. <laughs> this show is kind of like the reward for for people that well, at least suffer through the it's Clone like Wars. The reward for people that that watched all of uh, or at least consistently watched the Clone Wars. Wow. Because there's a lot of uh, throwbacks and. Returning characters and, mm-hmm. and things that are kind of coming to light, and I don't know, man. It, it's just it's a lot of fun. It's a really cool show, and we got really behind. We were really behind on this season, and we got caught all the way up a couple nights ago. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, dude. Nice. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, it's 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 on my list. Uh, it's it's a mile long. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Like I decided to. Clear some things off my list this week. Um, I finished up uh, House of Cards. I am ah. fully caught up with the end of season three of House of Cards. And so season one was nothing but but intrigue and, and amazement. I mean, the, the season, first season was just jam-packed with holy shit the entire time. The second season kind of drug along in the middle there because there's a lot of story development that didn't really come to fruition until much later in the series or in the, in the season. And then season three came in, and it started out with a bang, and just petered off, and just kind of just mold and mold and mold. And if you were paying attention, there's a lot of character development there, and it finally accumulated in the last episode of season three. And uh, it's not really a cliffhanger; like you kind of know what's going to happen, so it's not really a cliffhanger. But it's it's just it drops you off right where you're what. No, come on. I need another one. I need another one. So it's <laughs> right. um, no big surprises, but definitely a a tease for next season. So oh, okay. okay. So um, it was kind of climactic. Yeah, it, it was It was a bit weird. Just the whole season was kind of weird. It took me, I don't know, three attempts to watch it, you know, going all the way through. Just because the middle of it was such a such a churn. Um, but it all, I mean, it, it, it pays off in the end, though. You know, it's hmm. it's it's one of those. Um, right it's it's about number thirty four or something like that on my list. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah yeah. Season one was season one should be way higher than that. Season two and three maybe a little little maybe that's about right. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, odd, huh? Um, the season one was yeah, that was ridiculous. Um, and I spent a lot of time this week in chat room. A lot of time this week in chat room. Um, yeah, man. I I've been trying to get in there a lot more. And I did pretty well, I think, in the beginning of this week. And then, yeah, I, yeah. I barely fit in there. No, it was uh, just different things. Uh, just before this show, uh, Neshcom uh, was sh- throwing off a little party with uh, a little community game, which was pretty fun. Uh, a couple nights ago, uh, I was watching. <laughs> I just happened to be, happened to be in, in a chat room and watching a Periscope of um, uh, Jury Facts and Tay Allen shooting the shit and talking about some random stuff. And that led into a Google hangout with just a bunch of random people from, from the uh, chat realm. And I hung out in there for an hour, hour and a half or so. And it's, it's funny when you actually, cause these names, I mean, you know, the, the names in the chat room I've seen for so many years, like a lot of them I've seen, I ran in, well, I didn't run into her, but uh, him, her, it, it, whatever. Um, <laughs> chat room chat room's kind of a malogist. Um, I noticed uh, a, a, an individual by the name of Genie in there this morning, and I was like, "Is this this the same Genie that was in Bol back in the day?" And they're like, "Yeah." Huh. 
They were running the chat room. They started running the, the BOL chat room, Buzz Out Loud chat room, about a year before I started watching the show. You know? I mean, wow. and, yeah. and they're still around. They're still just churning, making shit happen in the chat room. And awesome. uh, it's such it's such so cool to be part of that community. And, and actually, now that uh, we've kind of established ourselves a little bit, a tiny bit in there, um, it's, it, it, it's kind of a, a long payoff, you know? It's been... Oh, yeah, man. It, it's so cool to... Cause I mean, we've, we've been lurkers for so long and it, it's so cool to just kind of, you know, be a part of it, interact with these people. We, yeah. we hear them, we read their, their voices all the time, yep. but, then, but now to actually talk to them and, and get some interaction and, yep. and like you had the, the hangout experience, you know, uh, it's really cool stuff, man. And it makes me really, really excited for South by So Wasted. Uh huh. So excited that it just dropped your video, maybe even your call. Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> that was really weird. I lost a video. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, South by So Wasted back. is not excited about you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so let me see. There we go. Okay, this. now we're back. Are we back? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, as I was saying, I, the recent chat realm interactions has really made me even more excited for the next South by so wasted. Cause I know a ton of the people from chat realm are going to be there mm -hmm. and instead of just kind of be like, you know, I kind of recognize that person's name. Now it's going to be like, Oh shit. What's up, man? Well, that's how it was last year is, is I was recognizing all these names and shit like that and trying to tell you who they were. And, but you weren't really part of chat realm at the time. You're like, what, 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 what? Yeah, and, I knew. Well, I knew. But then I, I wasn't. Them. I wasn't part of, enough of a part of chat room to really introduce people either. So, right, right. <laughs> hey, I've uh, been stalking you online for a couple of years now. <laughs> I think you're pretty funny. <laughs> you know. Yeah, there's a few of them that I recognize uh, pretty much right away, like Neshcom, Gatorwag. Yeah. Uh, I don't know a couple others, but but this this year, you know, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna recognize. I, I think I think probably. the funniest one was uh, was Tay Allen. Like you did not, you did not recognize who Tay Allen was until I was like, dude, no, no, that's <laughs> Tay Allen. Like, yeah, yeah. Like mass text and and I don't know a bunch of other random shit, and then <laughs> that shit was yeah. funny. Man, that, the, that the, whole that whole experience was just amazing last time, and I know it's gonna be way better. And we're gonna be there this year. Yeah, so super cool. psyched. Um, yeah. I had to pregame that in February when I stopped by. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, exciting stuff. If you haven't been to South by Southwest in general, even not as a badge holder, just go. Find the free shit to <laughs> go do badge. and have fun. Um, I'm, yeah, we say that because we've never had a badge. You talk to, you know, <laughs> talk to Richard Gunther and he's like, yeah, I, I, I like my badge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course, of course. So but he's um, also reporting on tech, and he's also, you know, he's a pro. He's in, he's in that world. Yeah, we're just have fun. Yeah, for the most part, <laughs> for now, something. Oh, well, right. <laughs> we just, we just want to get drunk and party, <laughs> um, which South by Southwest is perfect for. Um, yeah. Now this is one of those weeks where not only. Have we listened to a TED Talk, but we both listened to a TED Talk? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a rarity. Isn't it? So, why don't you go first, man? Okay. Well, you said I listened to a TED Talk, and that's not completely accurate. <laughs> uh, because, well, okay, I, I did go to TED.com, and I did play a video. But it wasn't, it wasn't really a talk. <laughs> uh, all right so i watched i watched nicole paris and ed cage a beatboxing lesson from a father-daughter duo okay yeah uh, it, it was entertaining <laughs> i didn't learn anything no i was not exposed to any new ideas um so it didn't ted you but it did entertain you yeah yeah i Basically, it's a it's a father daughter duo. The girl is probably, I don't know, twenty ish. She's she looks like she's a young college student. Uh, at the youngest, she's a high school student, like junior senior. At okay. the youngest, uh, 
Okay. Uh, and then her her dad is probably about our age, maybe a little bit older. And they're both beatboxers. And they come out and they talk. And they, they, they teased that they were going to explain the history of beatboxing, but they never really did. <laughs> I he, he said that it's from New York. It originated in New York. And that the beats used to be simple beats. That's and the only things that were said that were anywhere close to anything history. But yeah. okay, whatever. It was it was fine. It wasn't a TED talk, but it was fine. <laughs> so uh, as far as TED talks go, I'll give it a non rec. But mm. it's not really because I didn't like it. It's just because it wasn't really a TED talk. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I watched David Epstein. Are athletes really getting faster, better, and stronger? And um, to summarize the whole thing is he breaks down the difference between what technology has done versus what the human body has done. And once you start looking at it that way, you can see where athletes have changed, but not necessarily for the full gains. Most of the gains that we've gained in the last hundred years in sports have been due to better technology, better running surfaces, um, better shoes, better equipment, things like that. So. Mm. That makes sense. Um, but there's a there's a lot of conjecture and a lot of uh, estimation in there, but it it is is an interesting look on on just how how things have changed. So. Yeah, and 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 more so than just well, not more so, but I guess in conjunction with the better tech and all that stuff, it's just better science, better understanding. Yeah, of how that is, to, you know, the better diets, uh, you know, knowing how to work out properly for the results that you want, things like that. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So um, I would recommend it. It was it was interesting. It was uh, well, it, it was interesting. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't groundbreaking, but it was interesting. So there's our TED yeah. talks for the week. Cool. Right on. <laughs> All right, man. What else we got today? This this is kind of a slow week with uh, with me being as high as I was and you being as busy as you were, and there really wasn't a lot of major news out there that, well, tons of other people haven't already covered. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. All right, well, I only had two other things that I really wanted to touch on. Uh, I, lately, I've been on a kick of watching trailers, and I talk a lot about trailers on this show lately. So I watched two more that really, really interest me. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is X-Men Apocalypse. That one was released today. Um, okay. It looks cool. It's an X-Men movie. One thing about the trailer that kind of struck me i guess it was it was almost all fan service it was basically a who's who of the x-men get oh hey that guy's gonna be in it oh hey that girl's gonna be in it oh my gosh he's gonna be in it oh that's cool that that guy's in it mm -hmm. but it didn't divulge the story well just the basic of it is like if you know who the character apocalypse is then you you kind of know the story anyway he he's a he's basically a god he's like the first mutant or some shit and He's basically a god. Or some shit. That's descriptive. Yeah, or some shit. Yeah. I, I'm going to start saying that at the end of every sentence or some shit. <laughs> but, no, no, no. Punch me if I do that. <laughs> Punch you or some shit. Some shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he's basically a god because he's, he's so powerful. He's gained all the abilities of other mutants and things like that. So he's extremely powerful. He's been worshipped as a god for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And he was basically in a coma and he wakes up like a thousand years all later. powerful except for when he falls off the kitchen table got it right yeah yeah, yeah. he hit his head or something and he yeah. took a nap well anyway he wakes up in today's world and he's like holy shit this world's fucked up and he wants to destroy it and start over <laughs> and of course all of the x-men have to stop him so that's the basic story sounds way yeah i'm probably not gonna watch that yeah, I'm going to watch it just because the, the because previous two X-Men movies have been fan-fucking-tastic, in my view. So I'm, I'm definitely in for this one. Even though I wasn't really a big fan of the trailer, but I, I'm absolutely going to see this movie. Gotcha. All yeah. right, and, uh, and TMNT, Out of the Shadows. Yeah, dude. Did you see the most recent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? The one with uh, what's her name in it, and uh, that dude, and uh, they're like in New York, and it's got Shredder on top of a building, and yeah, 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 yeah. I watched it. Thanks for narrowing it down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all right. So you did see the the most recent one? Yes. 
what did you think? What were your thoughts? Uh, Cause, cause again, it's, it's, again, there's something. there's the turtles and there's there's a chick and there's a dude and there's Shredder on top of a building. I mean, it, was, <laughs> it, it seemed exactly like uh, it, nothing. There was nothing major uh, that was so different about the previous ones that I was like, ooh, look at this. Yeah, uh, it was well, kind of like a, 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 a polished turd from the original. I don't know. Right, yeah. The, the, the biggest difference is that the turtles are CGI as opposed to the people wearing costumes. Right. And some of the effects are updated for better or worse. Right, yeah. That, uh, that's. Yeah, but it's still, you know, it's Ninja Turtles. It was fine. I, mm-hmm. It was fine. Well, the trailer for the new one, Movie Man Lucas Back Me Up, this movie looks fun as hell, man. Really? Holy crap. Did Did you like Ninja Turtles when when we were kids? Like when it came out? Like we well, were yeah, what, yeah. You know, I had I had I had little little figurines, you know, and stuff. And yeah, hell yeah, watch, man. watch the cartoon and yes, yes. You know, something that's been missing from the movies, all of the movies that have been made, there are two characters that never made it into any of the movies. And they were the henchmen of the Shredder. Do you remember those two guys? Um, from the cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember the names though. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Is there is something ridiculous though? Yeah, Bebop and Rocksteady. Yes. Yes. They're in this movie. Okay. Baxter Stockman is in this movie. Casey Jones is in this movie. So they're, they're actually just, getting, they're actually digging into the into the comics and into the cartoons and bringing out the the old characters instead of just sitting on the same five names. Yeah, man, and I'm so glad that that Bebop and Rocksteady hadn't been in any of the movies previous because it would have looked like shit. It would have been like uh, what was it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two from the '90s with uh, what was it Toka and Razor? I think were the names. Mm, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, this. <sighs> Say what you want about CG, man, but Bebop and Rocksteady look fucking amazing. Cool in this movie. Uh, I'm so excited. It's just a it's just a popcorn high five kind of fucking movie. It's nothing. It's not going to win any awards. I was joking with with Lucas earlier. He he said something about it's not going to win any awards. I was like, well, yeah, maybe a Razzie. <laughs> but, but that's fine. That's fine. This that's this movie isn't an award chasing kind of movie this is a buy your ticket eat some popcorn and have a good fucking time and i think that's exactly what this movie is going to be so nice definitely in on that one too cool all right very cool very cool um anything else going on this week man Uh, because like i said i've been high most of the week so (laughs) (laughs) like like, like, i've I've been i've been looking forward to getting out of the military for 20 years smoking a doobie and just sitting back and enjoying it and after sitting, spending a week on Percocet, I'm not sure that's going to be my life's plan anymore. Because, <laughs> like, it's all oh, I know, man. And you know, of course, I was pending a federal job, or I was I was about to apply for a, for mm-hmm. a federal job, so I wouldn't have been able to anyway. But the, but when I retired, I was actually contemplating, like, hmm, you know, this is the first time I've had an opportunity that I could actually do that if I wanted to and get mm-hmm. away with it. Mm-hmm. No, no. no, just doesn't 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 have any appeal for me. Yeah, yeah, it's lo- it's losing its appeal as I work my way through these uh, hangovers off this damn Percocet. Yeah, I'll tell you right. what. So it's just right. really sad to my inner stoner. Um, <laughs> the thing that I've got left to say is that I want to give a a shout out and a congratulations to Richard Gunther. His R- podcast R- Richard Gunther, well, like like our Richard Gunther. Yeah, like our our buddy and our our mentor. Mentor, 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 mentor. 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 I, it, whatever. It, it's that it, dude we know. It's the, yeah, it's the <laughs> oh, man. It's Richard, Richard Richard Gunther's Home On podcast uh, is listed as one of the top twenty podcasts on iTunes under technology gadgets. Yep, hell that's yeah, pretty cool. That's a, that's a really cool accomplishment, man. Thank or uh, thanks, Jesus. Congrats, Richard. Good job, man. Mm. Yeah, he's uh, he works hard on the podcast. It's one of the, uh, and this is one of those things that I feel really really bad about because it's such a topic topic that I'm not interested in. Mm. You know, home automation. Like he's on the on the very front of home automation. You know, oh, much yeah yeah. And I'm so far behind that. Like I'm, you know, when he when he's like when he finally blesses it, says yes, this is ready. 
then give me about another two revisions and I'll be ready to buy into that shit. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> but if you're you're into home automation at all, if if that's your thing, he's the, his podcast is the way to go. He's he talks to all the top people. He's researched all the new stuff. He was on DTNS a couple what, like month and a half ago or something like that. Something like that. My, to, uh, talk, about talking about the the new stuff coming out. Um, yeah, if, if you're into home automation, man, that's the only podcast you need to be listening to as far as that goes. Absolutely. So very cool Absolutely. for him. Very cool for him. Um, so we do have a, a small change for us. Uh, ritualmisery.com forward slash swag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you can go get some Ritual Misery gear, get t-shirts and mugs and some other shit that we have on there. Uh, yep, there's more being added as we yep. go. And, uh, and, and as I was saying last week, everything on the site has exactly a $1 markup. That means anything that you buy on the site per item that you buy, we get $1 off of it. I figure that's fair. Yeah. No, that's, that's and, perfect. Uh, it's, it's barely over. It's barely over cost. Yep. It gives us a dollar, you know, just something so that we yeah. can see that. Oh, Hey, cool. We got a yeah, dollar. Just, just a little something. Um, and if you really want to get shit for free, then you can go over to, well, not for free, but for no markup, go over to diamondclub.tv uh, slash shop. And there's all kinds yep. of Diamond Club stuff over there that's uh, that's not marked up at all. We'll have some Ritual Misery stuff over there, I believe, sooner or later. Um, yep. So you can you yep. can always get the stuff without the markup. But just, uh, you know, giving us, a, <laughs> yeah. giving us a dollar for a T-shirt, that, that sounds fair to us. So um, Yeah, I think we might put some of our more premium stuff on on uh, like uh only available on our site so yeah um i'm, I'm so not worried about any of that um, we'll see i don't know if you we'll if, if you want to if you want to buy a dime, uh, diamond club t-shirt or uh if you want to buy um diamond club tv t-shirt uh ritual misery t-shirt or uh, fucking rl stein there's all kinds of shit on there yeah. so check out those sites they're all gonna be in the show notes Yep, and if you have any ideas for some slogans or something that you'd like to see on a ritual misery t-shirt let us know and we can probably make that happen. Yeah, it'd be actually be really easy. So just let us know. Yep, yep. Um, all right, man, this has been a very short episode today. We're coming it in has- at like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It makes up for the 17 hour one from last oh. week. <laughs> I think it came in at, in an hour and a half in the audio version. Yeah. Uh, some, yeah, an hour and 30 minutes, 20 seconds, something like that. Yeah. The yeah. Vid- video is almost another half an hour longer. It was, Man, last week was killer. So before we make this week a killer episode, um, let's go ahead and wrap things up, man. People can find you on Twitter at RM underscore Del Noche. Yes, they can. And if you're a beer guy like me, you can also go to RateBeer.com and look up username Del Noche. If you like watching people play video games and you want to see somebody suck at a game, you can find me on Twitch, Del Noche 77. I'm trying to do more stuff on there. I've only been on there like four times now and you're asking what games could they possibly be sucking at for kent it's all of them so that's all you need to know all of them yeah twitch del noche 77 <laughs> <laughs> where are you at man uh ethan kane on the twitter uh that's that's my primary place it's that's where i post all my uh all the shit that i think of when i get high and uh <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, yeah that's that's how this week has been uh, it, it really has it really has um <clears throat> so uh you can always find the show at ritual misery on twitter uh email the show r- at podcast at ritual misery dot com and re- get to our subreddit ritual misery dot sub uh ritual misery dot reddit dot com so you had to screw something up this is, <laughs> this is all gonna be fluid about uh about 300 episodes in um <laughs> You can call and leave us a voicemail, 567-69-TRMPC. That's 567-698-7672. Of course, you can uh, find all these and more links and ways to support the show at ritualmisery.com. Thank you so much for Kevin McLeod for letting us use your theme music. Uh, Thanks for listening. For me, for Kent, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>